So, um, I guess yeah. uh, I'm going to make sure I uh, uh, slaughter that. Um, they're in chat and uh, they gave us permission to actually discuss it. They don't want to come on the phone. So if uh, it's easy to discuss, you know, just uh, the overall article. And um, actually, I should ask, uh, can you hear, can you, can you hear the stream or? Yes. <laughs> should we read it? They already said yes. They can? They oh. heard you saying that as you typed it. Do you see like, the, the literal focus I have? It's just like your one away. thumb. <laughs> Are you sorry? I'm giving you crap for no reason. Not fair. It's okay. I take a roasting better than most, and it's because I hang out with smell delicious guys. while we cooked. Worked together for have we worked together for like a decade? This is a uh, insane. Decades I'm sorry. When did part. you work? Huh? What? What? Anyway, do you want to read their post? Okay. Yes, of course. More than I want to breathe fresh air. Let's do this. <laughs> They've been so patient. Okay. I, a 35-year-old male, am seeking advice uh, recovering from a breakup with my 40-year-old uh, female partner. Hello, all. I'm struggling with recovering from a recent breakup initiated by me with my partner and could use some advice. I recently ended the relationship with my partner after six months, give or take. I know this seems like a short time span, and sometimes I feel like I shouldn't be this hurt. It's still been a little over a month since the breakup. To give some context and history, we both lived in different states when we met. We met through work. We both fell for each other fast and hard, and I was going to visit her every couple weeks for a week or more at the time. After Halloween, I decided to stay uh, for a much longer period of time to avoid back and forth. Nice. There were mm -hmm. some issues in the relationship, but we were we were actively trying to work on them. She felt but she felt insecure in the relationship because I still owned my home in my originating state. I wasn't comfortable with selling the house yet since I really had no security in the state she lived in. I had no friends outside of her or family. So if any if things didn't work out, I'd have nowhere to go and I'd have to start all over again. We both had communication issues. We both had a troubled past from childhood experiences, and I have a tendency to stonewall when I get upset, frustrated, or need to go outside for a walk to cool off before I feel like I say or do something I regret. She had I mean, the tendency to provoke to get a response. I feel there were certain things she wanted me to say or do, and when I wouldn't say or do them, she provoked, no matter the outcome or the expense. We very recently started going to counseling for this, but not long after the things just continued to get worse after one session, it got so bad that I punched a, a wall and I yelled so loud that it feels like it shook the room I was in. She said she felt like she couldn't communicate with me. She was constantly walking on eggshells. She couldn't fear me. She should wait, sorry. She shouldn't fear me, etc. Given this, you punched a I wall, also but... punched a wall. Yeah. 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 Uh, I, I also didn't want to say, stay in a situation where I punched a wall which I've actively never done before, cutting up my knuckles and raise my voice. And yeah, yeah. Like, wait, wait, let me interrupt real quick. Punching a wall is the ultimate and you know you're stupid. I've done it. I've done it. <laughs> um, I have here. rules in my own life about punching a wall and it's uh, only punch things that are soft because I've, yeah. Um, so that's when you know you, yeah. I, anyway, sorry, go on, go on, Zaz. I've chose to end the relationship and travel back home to continue counseling. I know it was unhealthy for both of us, and I know she deserves way better. I was hoping to still remain friends since I uh, can't imagine my life without her in it. But she said she can't be friends with me when her heart will always want more. She constantly asked if we were going to get back together or if I was coming back. And I told her again and again how I can't come back when I'm not comfortable or have the confidence to not react those ways again. Oh. But it's it is physically, emotionally, and financially exhausting to go through the process of packing my stuff and coming back to my home state back and forth when these things happen. I'm not sure what to do or how to cope with the situation. I'm going to go to counseling and dealing with my communication issues and ensuring I never have to behave like that again. Hitting a wall, yelling, etc. Again, both of which are things I've literally never done before, done in a relationship before. But I'm not making any progress on recovering from the breakup or moving on so to speak um wow there's a lot here yeah yeah um i'm gonna i'm gonna switch to discord so i'm gonna talk first and i'll switch to discord and see your responses so the um the first thing is i 
let me start with how you feel right now. And it's totally okay. And you tried to downplay it. It was only six months, but you guys moved fast, right? Um, you went in six months to a point where you're almost living there. And I think you absolutely did the smart and sane thing in keeping your house, uh, moving in and then selling your house within six months is huge. And that's, you did the right thing. Uh, and I know it made her insecure, but I don't understand why, uh, because I think maybe she wanted to move even faster. She, she seemed like she was more, uh, let's just use the word energetic. Uh, because where you would need to walk away and cool down, taking a walk outside, she needed to amp it up and she needed to throw more more energy into the fire to get what she wanted out of it. And I don't mean that necessarily is a bad thing. Uh, there are people that are like that. They want to just blow it all up and then see where the pieces fall and then glue it back together. And there are people that just want to walk away. There's a lot of ways to react to a fight. Um, and I think that one piece right there, when, when Zaz read that to me, that's when it told me that you guys were just not a good match. You might love her and I believe you do. And I believe she loves you or loved you. I, I'm sure she still does, but that doesn't mean you get along as a couple. Love is easy to find of all the people you've met. The number's probably fairly low that you, of the people you got to actually know of that group. And even smaller, you, you fell in love a couple times in your life, and the number of people you met, fairly small. So love, finding love is actually easy. You could fall in love with a lot of people and, or people you haven't even met. It happens all the time. Um, so the love is the easy part, but the getting along, that's what you found out in your six months. That's, that's the result of your experiment of being together was you found out that these two things don't mix, that when they are together for a long time, stuff starts reacting it's it's a chemical thing you you know you add this to this and it's going to bubble up and there's going to be heat and there's going to be an exchange of bad things and you don't want to be around it and you did the right thing in breaking up it doesn't get rid of how you feel you're going through mourning you've lost someone who is important to you that you were building a life with it's the same morning you go through after a funeral that for weeks and months you're going to be raw and even thinking back to anything is going to hurt you. But the other problem is it sounds like you guys still communicate. So she's gone, but not completely. And your brain hasn't really adjusted. Like when, you know, when, when someone's grandmother dies, the, the morning doesn't keep getting prolonged every time they pick up the phone and grandma's calling. Um, you know what I mean? Like you will pick up the phone, you'll get a text, you'll send a message, however you communicate. It sounds like you're still doing that. And if they responded that, uh, you're not in chat, I apologize. I'm kind of talking over, just getting my, my thoughts out. I think you need to end it, end it, if you really want to get over this quick, much faster. Uh, the punching the wall thing, I will get, touch this, and then I'll uh, have you guys, uh, I'll start reading the Discord, but feel free to free me, f feel, fill me in on anything I missed. The punching the wall and screaming shows that her ability to get to you, to get a reaction, is really good, which is probably because you opened up to her uh, in a, in a meaningful way. And I don't think it's a problem with you. You learned a very big lesson that most of us have learned as, as men. Uh, I'm assuming women, do, women don't do it too much cause I've never heard a story, but occasionally I do. We would do that. I'm so angry. I'm going to show how angry I am and how strong I am. And I'm going to hit a wall and Holy fuck that hurts. I'm never doing that again. Uh, most people go that way. I had a friend that probably broke eight knuckles before he made a new rule in his life to not punch hard things. Um, I don't think you're a horrible person for that. I don't think, uh, obviously bring it up in therapy and work on yourself to never do that again. And the yelling, but I think it was her getting to you. That's what, you know, you just started off the, the, uh, the post by saying she was able to do that. She wanted nothing more than to get a reaction. And that's what she got. And I'm not blaming her either. That's, you know, she wanted the energy into that conversation, into that argument, and she got it. Uh, thankfully, it was only once, and you caught yourself, and you realized that, hey, this is not a great way to, to be a human. And um, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to leave it there. And uh, gosh, I wish you were on the call right now, but I understand why you, why you don't want to. It's not an easy thing. So I'm going to jump in here and read real quick. Uh you got yeah, I see you wake up, um, you, you keep your distance, wake up to broad just text messages, voicemails, and I haven't responding. Turn them off, block her. Uh, I know it sucks and you don't want to do that, especially I mean, get your stuff out or whatever you have left to, to get back. And then just you have to I don't I hate the term ghost because it seems you know it's such a negative connotation, but you at least need to put a 
I'm not going to talk to you for three months. If, if that's the best way you have to do it, but just do not don't make it a, don't make yourself able to even read what she wants to get you. And if she tries to find ways around it, then you know, she's absolutely trying to get another reaction and she doesn't care about your mental health as much as she cares about what she wants. Oh, and, uh, <laughs> this is great. We have both of you guys talking. Uh, she always feared I was running back to my state and not coming back. So she has insecurity issues uh, that were probably informing or motivating some of the things she was doing to 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 get you to commit more or be more under her, like you're here and you're never able to leave. I know that sounds negative and that's not exactly what I mean, but um, you did the right thing in keeping your house. I don't think anybody would would disagree with that except possibly her. <laughs> you know, like you didn't fail this relationship. You were just two people that didn't get along. And that was one of the the indicators of you having a different mindset than her. You wanted some safety. You wanted some ability to back up if you needed to. And she wanted full force. Again, more energy. No, it wasn't. You, you, until you committed fully what she wanted, what you were doing wasn't enough. Um, it, which is weird because you, uh, if I read, if I remember your post right, you were all in. But you wanted to take it slow just, you know, because a lot, you know, it, it's a lot to deal with. Let's, let's face it. They, all the things she wanted, if they happened all at once and this had what you did do happened within six months. Um, it's a lot of movement and it's a lot of uncertainty that had you done all these things, chances are you had added more chaos to a situation and any breakup would have been more uh, explosive. You know, I know that's not a great word to use here, but it would have been a bigger issue than it was with you just punching a wall and, and finally figuring out that, Hey, this isn't good for you. So, um, so get your sentimental things back. Um, if, before you, you do anything, get your sentimental things back, tell her that for your own mental health, you were taking a three month, you could use the word break, even though it means breakup and you've already done that. You're taking a three month, no talking, uh, break from her. You don't want to hear from her. She won't hear from you. Even if she does reach you on some way that, that you've, not properly blocked her she's used someone else's phone you're going to block that number you're not going to read anything as soon as you realize it's her just give yourself this break because you're going through mourning only the body keeps popping out of the casket and saying hey how you doing miss me um and that's creepy nobody wants that right <laughs> like um yeah let yourself heal uh i don't think i think you were in something very intense and it's still going to hurt and i'm not downplaying that your emotions are very real uh, deal with them by letting them get run through you and uh, letting yourself mourn. Oh, good, good, good. You got everything back. Uh, don't you can't you can't save her from her own feelings. The person on the other side will often say, "Well, without you, I'll I'll be miserable or I'll kill myself or any anything to kind of control the situation." And that's another reason you need to just turn it off. She's gonna feel bad. She's gonna be hurt but there's no future here and she has to start dealing with her own emotions on that level. 